We're here with Rupert Tappin, MD of Future Fundraising, who, together with Morag Fleming of Quarriers, has produced the Donor Attrition and Retention Survey uh, for this year. Tell, Rupert, tell us the highlights of this year's survey. Thanks, Howard. Well, it's a survey that's done on behalf of the PFRA, and we invite all the members of the PFRA to uh, submit their data, basically their uh, the payment data um, from donors that were signed up through face-to-face, -face, uh, which is street and doorstep fundraising, um, really for the past six years, right back to 2004. Um, and what, what that's shown us is it's given us some fascinating insights into the, uh, the, the basically the retention, the attrition behaviour of, of, of donor sign up through face to face. For the first time ever, we've now this year we've actually reached five years for the donor sign up in 2004. We have a full five year benchmark. Um, so charities can now much, much better plan their income um, based on that performance. And of course, we've now had the impact of the recession. So in 2007, 2008, uh, the latest data has shown that actually face-to-face -face, uh, uh, cancellation rates peaked in those two years of acquisition. But in 2009 and 2010, still early days to 2010, but actually the attrition rates are starting to come back down again. And for 2009, it's actually showing the best year one attrition levels, even right back to 2004 times. Um, so in terms of regular giving, we seem to have passed the dip. Yes, yes we do, absolutely. I mean, obviously, we haven't got a crystal ball. We can't predict the future. Um, you know, we're still very much in the un uncertain economic, economic climates. But one thing that's come loud and clear from the PFRA membership is that if we can continue to run this survey on a yearly basis, then we can much better uh, be much better accountable and, tra and transparent with the performance of our regular giving campaigns so charities can, can, work, can work much more closely with their agencies, hold their agencies and in-house providers more accountable for the quality of donors produced, but also together, agencies and providers, we can have a better understanding about what, what is best to do with donors du during sign-up and most importantly in that first year following sign-up uh, to actually uh, to maximise the retention. Uh, and Adrian Sargent is actually analysing the data as we speak at the moment over in the uh, Professor of Fundraising over in the US um, because, there is, because the data set is so, so clean, so valuable, we can actually get some really, really fantastic insights into, 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 insofar as the individual things that charities and agencies can do to maximise income from each of those campaigns. Now that's going to get released in September. Um, at the, there'll be another face-to-face -face fundraising conference. The Institute's planning to run a one-day conference and we'll be releasing the findings there. So that's the next exciting development. Rupert Tappin, thank you very much.